Hello everybody, welcome back to Cracked Up Games and to my first, oh god, first gameplay recording in like two weeks, I think, because I had a backlog of videos even before my hiatus. Um, but welcome to the Silent Age. Um, it's like a point and click game, which I should have the cursor visible on the screen so y'all can see where clicking and stuff. Um, this one's kind of interesting um, from what I know. Let's go ahead and get started before I get too much into it. Okay, so there's like a chapter select. As you can see, there's a little bit of foreshadowing here, um, the present. Um, looks like just another Tuesday as Joe sweeps down the floors of the anonymous cold office hallways. Then he notices the note. A meeting with the brass? Little does he know that today is about to take a very traumatic turn. Um, so yeah, you play as Joe. He's the janitor in some sort of, like, scientific facility. And... I believe this game... Yeah, this game has, like, some kind of time travel element to it. But I don't know like, the full specifics. I only know, like, a little bit from, like, the um, description on Epic and seeing, like, screenshots and stuff. Okay, so I guess this is showing, um, like, is this Joe's history, or, like, specifically? Is that him in the middle as a soldier? Painter, soldier, holding a sign for a buffet. He was only a soldier for a year, according to the dates it's showing. Um, I'm not a big history buff. Was there like an actual war in 1968? Because like I don't know when like the Korean War, the Vietnam War, everything like that took place. Um, So yeah, I'm not that knowledgeable on, like, that period of history. So yeah, I don't know. Um, so to my knowledge, this isn't really that long of a game. Is this the note that I was talking about? Sticky note on, near the door. It says, Joe, Mr. Hill wants to see Frank. Okay, so the cursor turns into a circle when it's something you can investigate. What's the sign say? Blue access card reader. 23rd floor offices. It's the top management floor where Mr. Hill's office is. So this is the 23rd floor? Is that what it's saying? Door to supply room. So I guess this is Joe's like maintenance closet. Oh, light bulb. Do I need that? Well, if I don't need it, I have it now regardless. Light in here before I break anything. Okay, so I replace the broken light bulb. Oh. Figuring out the controls here. It's been a good while since I've played a point and click, not counting like the Ace Attorney series. It's my award. I got it for helping out one of the lab assistants downstairs after he mishandled some barrels. I agreed to keep them here. Okay, let's go ahead and grab this glove, because I didn't see that before I turned the light on, so it must be pretty important. Let's see, and here's the access card. That has, why are there just a bunch of hazardous barrels in the supply closet? These barrels were brought in here about a year ago. I don't mind them, I have plenty of space and they hardly smell at all. <laughs> okay. Found this out back after last year's summer party. Perfectly good table, just left out in the rain. I got that baby cleaned up real good and installed it in here. Um. Yeah, like I was saying, I haven't really played a whole lot of point-and-click games. Um, Alright, what is this way, real quick? Red access card reader. Interesting. Okay, so there's more than one access card. So what does this one take me to? 2,000 pounds maximum clearance level 5. No exit from science labs 2 and 3 prior to decontamination. Okay, so I guess those take go to the actual labs. Let's go ahead and use this on the access card. I mean, on the card reader. Love that noise. Permission to enter the bridge, sir? 
Okay, so the card just completely disappeared after I used that, so I guess I won't need it anymore. <coughs> Modern art, if you say so. Title reads, The Gestalt of Saturn Veiled. Just looks like a couple of colored boxes to me. Accurate. Plan. Investigate the plan. It's a common rhododendron. I'm not a botanist or anything, but I used to have one at home that came with a little name tag. Fair I, enough. Uh, oh, there's voice uh -huh. there. Oh, there you are, sweetie. Mr. Hill's expecting you. Just walk right in. I did not know What's those voice What's the matter, sugar? Cat got your tongue? Just get your honey in there. Cool. That makes things easier for me. Didn't know there was voice acting. Okay, I opened the door and I could hear a clock ticking. Oh, that's why. World clocks. Copenhagen, Brussels, Amsterdam. I think that's how it's pronounced, it's Brussels. Okay, whatever need to know what time is in Tokyo or Berlin. Maybe I should just install an extra one for Albuquerque. Okay. The company performance starts been skyrocketing in the last couple years, jeez. Picture of Richard Nixon. President. Honest Richard, I call him. I think he'll catch on. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Richard Nixon was anything but honest. One nation under God. I, uh, Jasper, I'm it's, not getting into that. It's Joe, sir. Uh, of course, Joseph. Uh, how long is it that you've been with this company, Joseph? About two years, sir. Ah, uh, yes, then by now you must know that what we do here is very important. National security may be just a word to most people, Jasper, but for men like you and I, it means so much more. We see the people behind those words. We understand that it means the safety Weird. of every Why citizen. Why is this only coming country? out of the left Not side of my headphones for some reason? Kind of throwing me off. Stakeholders at the government funding agencies. It also means a lot of pressure. A lot. And some men just buckle. Which brings me to the main point of my agenda. A position just opened up, and we're promoting you, Jasper. It, it, I'm, sir? Don't think the company doesn't notice its hard-working employees. We reward achievement in this organization, young man, and you've just made yourself a gold star. This means that from now on, you will be in charge of not only yours, but Frank's assignments, too. That's right. That means downstairs lab sanitation, drain assignments, the works, with all the clearance that entails. That's a lot of responsibility we're investing in. Jasper. I, I thank you, sir. Uh, but what about Frank? Good question, I was I know about you made that a great team, but Frank decided to pursue a different career path this morning. We wish him all the that best. That sounded a little And of course, you understand that we won't be able to present you with a fancy title or a measurable pay raise. This is a modern company, you understand. We like to keep a flat organizational structure here. I... So congratulations, Jasper. I bet you must be very excited to get back to work with all your new responsibilities. That's perfectly understandable. I won't keep you a minute longer. Here's your key card. And I know they're like the whole, like, cliche of, like, the corporate bigwigs that don't remember the names of the little guy employees and stuff, but Jasper is a more complicated name than Joe. You'd think Joe would be a little easier to remember. <laughs> Right, so I wonder what actually happened to Frank, because I don't trust that. That sounded a little sinister, the way that he said he decided to pursue a different career opportunity. Also, give me just a second, I need to clean my glass. Alright, I am back. Also, I feel I should note, um, just for the sake of it, that I apologize if the recording quality is a little off. I don't know, like, if I got settings and stuff correct after having to reset it. Hello, what's that? Tin foil hat. Why is there a tin foil hat? Also, is that blood? That's blood. Okay, so actually, there's blood below an open elevator roof hatch. 
So that's suspicious. Sub basement lab. Sub basement. Basement under the basement. Beep boop. Um. So that's just got down to this. He said things amazing. It's been down there almost every night after hours since they set it up. It says it'll fry my brain, but I think it works just fine. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, um, I don't know if I got all the settings right for OBS after I had to do all the stuff with my computer. And I know that the encoding is set differently because I literally can't use the one that I've been using for a while. Um, so that's part of the reason why I'm having to re-record Ocarina of Time randomizer. Um, but yeah, hopefully everything will look fine. Data screen is bigger than my TV. Took over Frank during a sick day about a year ago. My sleeve snagged on one of these things and they closed down the labs for the day. Okay. It's a bunch of dials. It's a big computery thing. I'm really not sure what it says. Why are you pressing buttons? Oh, more blood and... I just, yeah, I just noticed the blood trail on the floor here. Glass is toned, but looks like a bunch of containers with tubes sticking out. Hmm. It's no case of nosebleeds. It looks serious. I've got to show this to someone. Tip it over trash can and there's a broken access panel. Frank must have left in a hurry. I can't imagine he would leave a mess like this. Why did you stick your hand in that? I'm not much of an engineer, but there seems to be something attached to two of the wires that clearly don't belong there. I could remove and put the panel back in place if I had something to protect my hands. I have rubber gloves. Got it. I removed the thing and pushed the panel back in place. What is the thing, though? It didn't actually tell me. Ominous door sound. Oh, look, more blood. And a lap coat. Oh, hello. Something fell out of the coat. Looks like a handkerchief. Can I use it to wipe the blood? Oh, I... I actually... I didn't expect that to actually work. It's a very expensive data processing unit. It doesn't actually say expensive, but I think it's a fair guess. The warning sign reads, Caution, keep away from liquid materials. Okay. It's something right out of a science fiction movie. Okay, so there's two different oh, door buttons. Out. Okay. It's one of those doors where two people have to turn keys. At that's not keys, that's buttons. Yeah, exactly. Okay, the game's already ahead of me. Like something out of a sci-fi movie, except it doesn't use keys, it uses buttons. <laughs> okay, so... Do I need to go see Mr. Hill with this, or... Go see the secretary, or... I don't actually know who I need to see about this. So what city is this taking place in exactly? Excuse me, miss. Does this smell like blood to you? I haven't talked to her before I start waving that thing at her like a crazy um, person. Okay. Miss Goulet? Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Didn't give her a name. Uh, uh, some, something's bad. The downstairs handkerchief has basement all over the blood. Accurate. Uh, <laughs> no, I, I mean... Good heavens, sugar. That rag's got blood all over. Have you hurt yourself again? No, no, it, it's... <sighs> we keep telling you boys to follow company safety policy. I send out memos almost every week. I honestly don't know why I bother sometimes. You may look like capable grown men in those boiler suits, but you're really just big boys, ain't you? But I'm not the one who... No need to explain. Let me just take care of that for you. Now, let's see what Gloria has for you here. Ooh. Nice Gloria. clean band-aid. Just go wash up and put that on. It'll be as good as new. But now run along, you little scamp. Okay, so what do I use the band-aid for then? K 
can't be expecting me to put the band-aid over one of the buttons and then press the other one, is it? Because that shouldn't work. Just from a logical perspective, a band-aid shouldn't be able to hold a button down. Alright, this hatch up here is making me nervous because I keep like expecting something to show up in this elevator. Alright, I, I never checked out this door. Can I go in here? No, actually. Cryogenics. Interesting. Does cryogenics exist in 1972? Alright, is it, is it really expecting me to do this? Can I just stick a band-aid over the button? Oh my god! That, again, that shouldn't work unless the band-aid is really sticking out. Oh. Uh, hello, Mr. Old Man. Don't mind me, just gonna poke at these consoles for a bit. Okay. <laughs> the game has more sense than I do, apparently. Hello, Santa. Mr. Are you all right? You're you're bleeding. Huh, that's that's a lot of blood. Uh, stay right here. I'll go get help. No. Don't. Don't get anyone. Are you alone? I I'm not sure what I asked you a question. Are you alone? Yes. Yes, I came down here by myself. Good enough. Listen, <coughs> I'm oh, shot, mad. I don't have a lot of time, but I'm also not important. At it's least this version of me isn't. What's important is that you understand what I am about to tell you now. Should, should I be writing this down? I don't have anything That's to That's not Joe with. as an old man, is it? Shut up and pay attention! You're standing on the brink of an extinction-level event. Set in motion is. by greedy halfwits that will eventually end the lives of every man, woman, and child on the planet. I know this because I'm partially to blame. And though I realized our folly in time, less sane and more senior heads prevailed. I have arrived from 40 years into the future to prevent it from happening. Things are obviously vastly more complex than this, but for lack of time to explain this properly to an insufficiently primed recipient intellect, I am what you phrase I've never heard perceive before. as a time traveler. Mister, you've obviously lost a lot of blood. Quiet! I have planned this out in every detail for the better part of my life. And I'll be damned if I will let it fail because of a single gun-toting, overachieving parking attendant who wasn't where he was supposed to be at this point in time. <coughs> Why would a parking Thankfully, attendant shoot him? You look fleeceable enough to be coaxed into performing Fleece. one simple task for me. Okay, fleecing I, suggests that you're like conning him, though. You to find me. And tell me about this event before I depart for the past. You'll need this. What is this? It is a portable interdimensional planar membrane chronosync instrument. If you say so. It's a goddamn time machine, okay? <laughs> for reasons you'll quickly come to realize. The device runs on solar rechargeable batteries. Despite this, I want you to keep it hidden until you're out of town. Don't let anyone see you with it, especially in here. Mister, between the blood and all this space talk, you're making me quite dizzy. I'm not sure how I can help you other than by calling security and getting you to an ambulance. Just take the damn device and find me. You find me, you hear? <laughs> Go. Go. Okay, but who are you? Mister? Mister? Am I supposed to find you if I don't know who you are? No, 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 he's... I think he's dead. Oh help! god, I don't... Help! I need help in here! Yeah, why is the parking... Stay the parking right there, thing? sir. Listen, you gotta help me. There's a guy in there. He, there's a lot of blood. 
He needs help. I said, stay right there. But I, but I work here. You know me. I Keep your hands where I can see them. Palms flat What's against with the this wall. Guy? Spread your legs. The police are on their way. Weird. Is that like a security card or something? Seems a little suspicious. Oh, hey, chapter two. Look, I don't want to be unreasonable. Ah, that's not what the subtitle oh, says. Some listen. simple answers to some simple questions. Do you want this to become complicated, do you? Cause, uh, oh, we can do that, you know. Make things complicated. Is that what you want? No, sir. Oh no, why do you sound like yeah, from the Bronx? Didn't think so. Let's uh, let's just keep this nice and informal, shall we? See. I'm a simple, easy-going fella. I try to be affable and not go too hard on people. And that's what I find works the best. Now, my partner over here, he's a different kind of guy. A real stickler for the rules. Ain't that right, Burke? See, uh, I'm not too good with long I see Burke's not very talkative. I confuse easily. Some kind of brain problem, I, I don't know. So sometimes I gotta consult him, you know, uh, in complicated matters. Uh, he's got a real talent for helping suspects simplify their statements. Thing is, uh, he's not much of a people person, so most people seem to prefer dealing with me. So tell you what, I give you some simple questions, you feed me some simple answers, and we're all home before Donahue. How's that sound? Now. Do you mind telling me what this is? Take your time. Intense police officer. F. Burkowski. Next words I say to them. Place is pulsating with green light. Can I just push the button? Yes, I can. Okay. Whoa. Where did the lights go? Hello? Was was I just knocked out? Ow, man, that's bright. Oh boy. Is that another picture of Nixon? Man, I'm dizzy. What what is this? What happened here? How long was I out? Seriously, is that another picture of Nixon? J oh no, J. Edgar Hoover. Um. God, how long was how long was it after Nixon that Hoover was elected president? Cause that gives a time frame for exactly when the um the incident would have happened. I'm really confused. This doesn't look like a police station at all. Where did they take me? Yeah, that would give an instant uh give an idea of. The time frame of when the actual like extinction event acts happens. I want to count three steps. First two are fine, the third seems to be somewhere in the basement. <laughs> Apparently those steps collapsed, I guess. Uh okay. <gasps> oh god. Oh god, what is this? I, I feel nauseous. I still have a clue what just happened, and now there's a dead body hanging from the ceiling. That's a thing. It's a key attached to his belt. I should just grab it and hope it gets me out of here somehow. Whatever this key is for, I hope it takes me far away from here or wakes me up. It's not. Hammer. Hammer. They must have nailed that door in a hurry. Okay, uh, I was about to say it doesn't have a claw on it, so can't exactly use it to get... I love how he still tried to open the door, even though it's boarded up. Alright, that's ground floor. Let's go to the second floor. Might be able to use that key on the... Oh, Abraham Lincoln. Okay, maybe the... Pick... Far out. What's going on here? Safe behind this. Okay, that's a thing. Yeah, maybe the picture of J. Edgar Hoover is just there, because it seems like they have pictures of multiple presidents. I don't remember if he's before or after Lincoln. Wyatt Earp. Why is that a picture of Wyatt Earp? I mean, I know he was like a Wild West lawman, but still. Damn. That's a 
choice, I suppose. Can I open this? The handle's broken off. So that's a no. I need something to cut that rope. So... Alright, I didn't actually... I was kind of stupid and didn't actually think to try the key on this door. Nope, okay, so that doesn't work. So then it's the other door down here then. There we go. Thank you, Mr. Hoover. And there's another... That's a katana. Great door is locked with a rusty old padlock. Boxed evidence. Unlicensed small arms. Anti-war propaganda. Unregistered sexual aids. Um, I don't actually know what that means. Then tolls the rest of the... Yeah, I don't actually know what that phrase means. God, that term... Oh, that's Burkowski. That was the bald officer. Francis Burkowski. Every tribe of my being is telling me not to touch it. Even from a skeleton, you can tell he's probably able to snap you like a twig. Okay, um... How do I get this katana? Oh wait, rusty but still sturdy. The hammer? No? No, wow. I don't know what I need this ID card for. Uh, the, um, which the skeletons are like charred black, unless that's just like a artistic choice to just kind of make them look shadowed or something. Uh, can I use the ID card on the safe? I don't know what I need this for. No? I don't actually know what I need to do. Can I get in any of these lockers? No? Anything above the lockers? Can I cut the rope with the ID card? No? <sighs> this is a key door. It's not an ID door. Okay. It... That was just a leap of logic because I didn't have anything else to do. Lockers? Anything useful? Either rusted or locked. Photographs. They're a bit smelly for some reason. Here's a code. Country map. It's with all the circles. Map of the country. It's filled with pins, circles, and notes that look like they were written in a hurry. Um, yeah, as I was saying, the skeletons weapon oil. The skeletons are like charred black, so it makes it seem like there was some kind of explosion is what caused this extinction of it. What's that picture? I can't actually tell. Some kind of fish. Carp, I think. It actually kind of looks like a clownfish. Okay, um... I guess I can maybe use the weapon oil on the lock and then hit it with the hammer? Even though I don't know what that would accomplish. I have a paper clip. Can I use the paper clip on the lock? Am I expected to pick that lock with the paper clip? If so, this game has some interesting puzzle logic. Okay, no. Okay, well, yes. I just had to lubricate the lock first. Wow. Again, interesting puzzle logic. Alright, let's grab this katana. It's a katana. I've always wanted one of these, but somehow I don't feel as excited about it now. Well, time to cut this rope, I guess. Seriously? <laughs> First off, he made that sound before he actually swung the katana, but sure. Oh, jeez. Bookcase, all collapsed. Lots of dusty files and reports. 
Let's so peek out the window. There's a big tree growing outside. I might be able to get out that way. It's a duty roster on the desk. Seems a lot of officers were homesick that day. I'm not sure I'll get used to this. Do I have to break the window? Yeah. Oh, I should be a little more careful. I almost cut myself there. Uh, it's really far down. Whatever that guy was feeling in that movie Vertigo, that's what I'm feeling right now. This branch looks sturdy enough in theory. I'm just not sure I'll be able to make it. I need something to hold on to, besides prayer, I mean. Alright, so... Fortunately, there's only one thing I can really think of. Oh wait, I can go this way now, I think. Oh, I was already able to go this way, there's nothing over here. Yeah, unfortunately there's only one thing I can really think of to hold on to. Even though I really don't feel good about it. The skeleton still has a shoe and a pants leg, I think. It's bad enough when he was hanging from the ceiling. Yeah, I feel like that sets a tone quite nicely for how the future parts of this game are going to look. God, those tones. Most important knot I've tied in my life. Alright, chapter three. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this episode here. Need to breathe and get a grip. This is all really happening. Someone must have taken that time travel guy to the hospital or something. I need to get over there. I'm not sure what I'll get out of it, but I have nothing else to go on. Getting over to the hospital. Some motorcycles, some screwed up bar bar. Oh, yeah, hospital on the horizon. Interesting. Glad door, poison ivy. All right, yeah. Like I was saying, um, go ahead and leave this episode here at the start of a new chapter. Um, so yeah, um, if you like the video, consider leaving a like. If you have any suggestions on how I can improve, consider leaving a comment. If you like what I do and want to see more videos, then consider subscribing so you don't miss an upload. Um, it's good to be back. I look, hope you all, whoever watches this, I hope you look forward to this playthrough. Until then, I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.